we love Harry Mack. Well, actually, it's just me that loves Harry <laughs> Mack. I bring her along. And in this video, we're just going to take you through, you know, what happened when we went to Harry Mack's Energy Exchange show. And it's going to be something that we experienced, but you're probably going to see something like this very similar if you're going to go to one of his concerts. We actually bought the VIP passes. We figured, you know, he's up and coming. We are never going to get this opportunity ever again to actually get this VIP experience. And so we did. We shelled out 200 bucks for this really unique experience. And sure enough, he brought us in early and we got to meet as just a small crowd of people. So we were the only eight of us in the, you know, we went to, it was Houston Improv. We were in the concert venue and Harry Mack came out and he did a freestyle for us. Yeah, he took words from everybody. He just destroyed it. He used yeah. whatever words that we threw at him. Exactly. So that was so much fun to be able to have like a unique kind of experience like that. And then we got to take pictures with him. We got like a little Polaroid, yeah. which was really fun. That was super fun. And he signed them and, mm -hmm. you know, just could not have been more nice through the whole experience. You know yeah. how he is. And he had a hat that he had brought with him, one of the original ones, Yeah, the right? original ones with the embroidery on the side. He also signed his hat as well. So, you know, you could bring, I don't think you would want to bring like a huge stack of stuff, <laughs> but if you have a VIP ticket, you could probably bring one or two extra things and have him sign those instead of a Polaroid picture. Yeah. After that, I actually got to meet Khan. If you don't know mm -hmm. Khan, he is awesome. He's also a freestyle rapper and he's part of Harry Mack's team. So. He's going on tour for a lot of these. I don't know for all of them. Hopefully you'll get to meet him. He is such a cool dude. Mm -hmm. And I got a picture with him. I was so happy about that too. Once the VIP kind of experience was over, then we had some time before the rest of everyone was let in mm -hmm. to be able to choose where we wanted to sit. So we got kind of the best seats in the house yeah. based on you know what we wanted to do. Right. There were some seats that were like seriously like up against the stage and we thought, wow, that would be way too close. But now I In think hindsight. maybe we kind of wish that we had sat right at those, like yeah. seriously, the table was like on the stage. But we didn't want to be doing one of these, yeah, you know, yeah. be looking up the whole time. Neck pain. <laughs> so <laughs> you got to choose wisely. And then once everyone got settled, Sir Jazz, his DJ, got everyone warmed up. You know, he played a few tracks and he was just so cool. He got everyone engaged. The energy was up. He got Harry Mack hyped up when that was time to come. You know, Harry Mack was coming out. Everyone was yelling, Harry Mack, Harry Mack. You know, everyone got super energized for him. What Harry Mack did when he came out is just went around, you know, basically throughout the whole venue and tried to say hi to everyone in his own unique way where he rapped whatever he saw. Some people brought some very unique things that you know he had to shout out and rap about. So I guess if there's anything to be said about that, bring something unique, bring something mm -hmm. that is eye catching for him to rap about. Yeah. So some people had birthday signs. Someone had even created like artwork of Harry Mac, yeah. which was really cool. If you're thinking about going, that's something to kind of keep in mind. And then he had a videographer with him that kind of caught all of those, you know, different pieces so that you know, we were way up in the front. And so when he was in the back, we were able to see on like the projection screen yeah. what he was talking about. He wrapped pretty much all the way through up to the stage. And, you know, he didn't have a whole lot of time to go to everyone. But essentially, if you caught his eye, he's going to rap about it. So make sure if you want to be in the rap, just <laughs> bring something interesting. <laughs> yeah. To start everyone off, he, you know, welcomed everyone and, you know, said how thankful he was. And, and then once he got the show started, he actually rapped one of his songs from his EPs, and that was awesome. It was just so fresh on everyone's memory. But personally, I wish he had rapped Napoleon Hill because that one is my favorite song. You know, it goes, said every day I envision myself folding them bills, trying to think and grow rich like Napoleon Hill. Man, that one is super classic. If you're an OG Harry Mack fan, you definitely know the song. I just wish that he rapped that one. It is my personal favorite. And then he went into words that people had submitted. Before he came out, they put on the screen a QR code that you could scan with your phone and then it would take you to a website where you could submit. You basically could submit a word, a topic, your name. Yeah. So you could submit a couple different kinds of that. I don't think Harry saw them before he got up to the stage. I doubt it. Yeah. But maybe his team did. And so the first part was, you know, just words popping up and then he would rap about them. And then mm -hmm. he went into a section of time where he rapped about those topics so themes mm -hmm. and he schemed out whatever topic it was so mm -hmm. that's what he loves to do right if he takes a topic he wants to do a whole song about it that is something that was featured in one of his latest video where he showed behind the bars that mm -hmm. one was so fun yeah it was the song about 
the penguin learning how to fly. And yeah. that one was so fun. Like, it was incredible. If you could feel the energy in that concert venue, it was so, like everyone was just having the best time. Like it was such a fun song. <laughs> And it was so unexpected because it just is like this random topic. I mean, I feel like the person that came up with that like must be really funny. It just was like amazing. Mm -hmm. Just the the energy of that song, everyone was having just yeah. a boatload of fun. The way he did pretty much the entire show was mm -hmm. just so energetic and just so much fun. As he was wrapping up, he said some really beautiful words of encouragement. You really just had to be there. But he knows how to tie a bow on the entire thing. Just have everyone really feel like they're valued and, you know, he appreciated everyone being there. He knows how to really rile a crowd up in the best possible way. Once the show kind of ended, he went off the stage. He didn't do an encore, which I was surprised about because I feel like most concerts that I go to, they do an encore. I feel like maybe we should have been yelling for an I, encore. I feel like maybe we should I think the crowd but... needs to initiate that. So yeah. maybe we missed an opportunity. Yeah, I'm not really sure. But anyway, he went out to kind of the lobby area and was signing merch. So there was a big long line of people to get their merch signed, to you know buy merch first of all. Then he was signing it and meeting fans. So even if you didn't buy the VIP ticket, you could still meet Harry Mack. You just- Maybe, probably. Went. It's a really, wait. really it was long a, line. I don't know if he stayed the whole time or if he had like a certain time limit. I would expect knowing Harry Mack, well, I don't know him. I met him the one time, but I would expect that he stayed until the end. Yeah, he's that type of guy. But yeah. we did not stay for the entire thing. We felt like we had gotten this perfect opportunity with him, with the VIP experience. So we had to leave early anyway. Otherwise, great opportunity to meet him as well. I can pretty much guarantee you that every one of his shows, his concerts, are going to be unique. If you went to every single one of his shows, it would be different in some way. And that is just beautiful. I don't know that any rapper or artist will do that for an entire tour, right? Mm -hmm. And so this is just something special. Harry Mack is something special. If you have the opportunity to go, do it before he gets too, too big because you know he's going to just blow up because he's got over a million subscribers on his YouTube, close to two million at this point. So you know he's gonna be huge and you know, you won't get too many experiences like this. So you really got to grab it Yeah. when you can. <laughs> yeah. So give this video a thumbs up and let the YouTube algorithm know that this is something other people should know about. Mm -hmm. You definitely want to come prepared with Harry Mack because mm -hmm. you want to challenge him and he loves being challenged. Mm -hmm. So make sure this video gets out to more people. This isn't our usual content. Yeah. Uh, we buy and resell thrifted items usually on this um, channel, but if you are interested, please subscribe. Otherwise, we do some Harry Mack stuff mm -hmm. once in a while. Yeah. But anyway, we really appreciate you watching. Yeah, and leave a comment down below if you are going to one of Harry Mack's energy exchanges or if you've already been or what town you're from that you wish that he would go to. So yeah. leave a comment down below with that information. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, and we'll see you later. Bye.